In this problem we've got brackets and we've also got an R on both sides of the equation. What we need to do first of all is expand the brackets on the left hand side. So if we multiply the 3 by the R plus 6 we get 3R plus 18 is equal to 7R minus 6. So now what we need to do is look at the left and right hand side of the equations and decide how we are actually going to remove the R's. We've got 3R and 7R on separate sides of the equation. So we could subtract 3R from both sides or subtract 7R from both sides. We've also got positive 18 and negative 6. So we could take 18 from both sides or we could add 6 to both sides to remove the numbers from one side of the equation. We're going to do the two steps at once here. What we'll do is we'll subtract 3R from both sides of the equation. We can see that in red. By subtracting 3R from both sides of the equation, we remove the 3R from the left hand side and the R terms will be on the right side of the equation. By adding 6 to both sides of the equation, we remove the number from the right hand side. So we're left with just a number on the left hand side with 18 plus 6. So we can see here that by taking away 3R from both sides it's balanced and we'll remove the R on the left hand side of the equation. Now when we've completed that, what will happen on the left hand side is the R's are removed and we end up with just 18 plus 6 which is 24. And on the right hand side the 6's are removed and we've got 7R minus 3R is equal to 4R. Now to remove the 4 next to the R, we have to do the opposite of the multiplication. So the opposite of multiply by 4 is to divide by 4, and we do that on both sides of the equation. And what we're left with on the left hand side is 6, and dividing by 4 on the right hand side leaves us with just the R. So R equals 6.